Hello everyone, I am Rachit from the Spark Club and in this video, my wife and co-founder Neha is going to explain us how to play our new STEM-based science board game called Sunshine. So let's start. Hi guys, so in this game, in the box, you are going to get an instruction sheet where everything is specified, the number of players who can play the game, the age group, what are the contents, what is the aim of the game, the setup and everything. As we know, you are going to get a board which is going to look like this. Then you're going to get 105 cards and they're going to be of the type yellow ray, blue ray, violet ray, indigo, orange, red and green. You're also going to get 5 action cards which are night, black hole, wild card, solar eclipse and a rainbow. So the main aim of the game is to understand what is sunlight made up of. So as you can see sunlight is made up of seven colors violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red rays. You also get to see that there are other concepts involved in this game like rainbow, night, black hole and solar eclipse. Now the game is designed such that the use or the behavior of the card is the same as they have in the real life. So the phenomena of solar eclipse as we know is when the moon comes in the middle of the sun and earth. So the sunlight at that time gets reduced or is almost none. So the main aim of the game is to collect as many sunlights as possible. So and the first player to collect three sunlight sets wins the game. And how can you make these sunlight sets? So every person will get a chance to play a card. And we'll have to play one card like violet ray map to the box on the board. So it can be in any order turn by turn. So supposedly these are already done. And I was the last person uh, supposedly on my turn to put the indigo ray card. So the person who puts the last card wins the whole set and can claim a sunlight. There are other ways to claim sunlight. We'll see them when we once we come to action cards. So this becomes one sunlight set for me. And this is how you need to collect three of them to win the game. So the first step is the setup. In this, we're going to keep the board in the center of all the players. The One of the player can decide who's the dealer. And the dealer will shuffle 105 cards and distribute 5 cards to each player. So let's consider player here and player 2. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The remaining cards after giving 5 cards to each player, this becomes your draw pile. And I've kept the cards face up so that you understand the play. They are not going to be, you are, the, the players will not be showing their cards to their opponents. Okay, so let's start. Now this player has got the first turn. Now let's see. The person has a red, yellow, green and orange. As you can see, all the slots over here are empty. You can place only one card on the slot. The player who places the last card gets the full set sunlight. So since I can play, so I have four options to play. So let's play with a red card. Now the turn goes to the other player. Supposedly this player plays a violet ray. It's this person's turn. So the player, a person played a green ray. Let's come back to this person. This player has played a blue ray card. It's my turn again, so I'm going to play a yellow card. Now it's uh, this person's turn and this person played an indigo. As you can all see, all the slots over here are full. And I have luckily an orange card, which the slot is empty. So I can place this. And as you can see, the full sunlight is done. We have all the seven colors, so I can claim the whole set as a sunlight set. So I'm going to keep this set in front of me so that all the opponents know how many sets I've made. So this becomes your set and this is the card with the player. Now since I claimed a sunlight, I get an extra turn. I have only one card which is a wild card. I want to save it for later so what I'm going to do is pick up another card and see what do I get. So I get a violet tree which I can place. So I'm going to place it right here. Now the opponent has two options. The opponent either can play a night card or a rainbow card. But the rainbow card can only be played when there are at least three slots full on the board. 
and then that person can claim the entire sunlight since rainbow has all the seven colors. Now we only have violet so uh, he's gonna skip. Let's see he can also play a knight card so let's play the knight card. Once you play a knight card what does it mean? It means that the sun set and the moon rises. That means there is no sunlight. So the next person whoever is in the turn will have to skip. So let's put this in the discard pile. Let's come back to this turn. Now this person or player has skipped his turn because the opponent played a knight card. So let's come back to this person. He or she still cannot play the rainbow card. So I'm going to pick up a card. Cannot play. So imagine we've reached a board where there is violet, indigo, blue and green on the board. And the three slots over here are empty. You do not, the board doesn't have a red, orange or yellow. Supposedly it's this player's turn. He has a rainbow card. So as you know, we can use it right now because three or more slots should be full. So there are four slots. So this person can put a rainbow card and claim this set as a sunlight set. So this is the second way of getting a sunlight. And this player will keep it, this set in front of him in order that the other opponents can see how many sets he's got. Now is this person turn. So he, his options are violet, wild card and a green card. Now green is empty so he can play the green card. Now it's this person's turn. Now this person has no cards in his hand. So he's going to pick up 5 cards from the draw pile. So let's pick up 5 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I'm going to turn them face up so that we can understand the play. So this person has these options. So let's see what are the options. So he can play an orange, indigo, green, solar eclipse and a black hole. Now uh, the person has a chance of use playing an orange ray card. So let's play an orange ray card. Now this person has two options. Now violet is already uh, full so he can uh, play a wild card. Now wild card can go in place of violet, indigo, blue, green, red, orange or yellow. So I can place it any slot which is empty. So I'm going to choose the yellow rated card. Now the turn come back to this person. He can play an indigo card. This person doesn't have an option. So he's going to pick up a card. Cannot play both the cards. So turn comes here. Now he has two options. Either to play solar eclipse or a black hole. Now let's understand what happens when you play a solar eclipse card. Now solar eclipse occur when the moon comes in the middle of sun and earth. That means suddenly there is no sunlight or very less sunlight. So when I play this card, the whole set goes to a discard pile. You cannot, nobody can claim that and everybody will start making the sunlight again. So his turn is done. Come back to this person so he can play an indigo card. Comes back here, has a green option. Let's play that. This person's turn, plays an violet card. Come back to black hole. Uh, black hole is, how do you play black hole? So black hole is pull, black hole pulls everything around it, including light. So when a person plays a black hole, he or she can pull two cards from any person or any opponent of his or her choice. Now there are just two players. So only option is this player. So I think the other player doesn't have any option. So I'm just going to keep it and pick up a card and use this card later on. So I picked up a card, Indigo, which is already full. Now this player has picked up 5 cards because he did not have any on the turn and now the turn comes to this player. So this player has black hole and indigo ray. So good, he can now play a black hole and pull 2 cards from the other player randomly. So this is not going to be visible so he's going to pick up any 2 cards. So imagine he picked up randomly these 2 cards. Now the turn comes to this player. This player can play the red card. This person, indigo is full, blue is open, let's play the blue card. Now it's this player's turn. So this player played a orange ray card. And let's come to this player. So he has orange cannot be played, but wild card can be played because this slot is empty. Now let's put the wild card here. Now whoever plays the last card, as we all know, claims the sunlight. So let's claim the sunlight. Okay, let's claim it and keep it in front of us. And oh! He's done with all three. So this player becomes a winner because he has collected officially three sunlights and this one has collected only one. I hope you have fun, play it and let us know if you like it or no. Thank you.